Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. I wanted to go through two ways to save time in Krita sessions and snapshots. Let's do that. So once again, I'm Nate, this is Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for joining in. Let's just get right down to it. All right, so Krita. This is not the latest version, but it's pretty close. It's 4.4.3. I know there's a .5 out there, but it's all bug fixes. I'm really waiting for version five. Go watch that video if you haven't had a chance to go check out what's coming in version five and be excited with me. All right, but for right now, two ways to save time in Krita using sessions and snapshots. You may not be familiar with how those work, so let's just start with that. First of all, before we even get into sessions, you do need to start a new drawing of some kind. All right, I have my default settings here. I'm just gonna kick that off and get going. All right, now first thing I have to do here is I need to save it and we can use the KRA format, which is kind of like the PSD equivalent. Uh, if you're familiar with Photoshop, uh, KRA is the Krita version where it saves all the layers and properties, and it even works for animation files. If you haven't seen animation, go check out that video as well and get a good sense of uh, animation. But it's the default format of saving all the file information. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a, a test one here so we can get a sense of that. Okay and I'll maybe add in another paint layer and do something else and we'll save that as well. All right, I'm also gonna kick off another image and I'm doing this for a reason, we'll get to it, I promise. Well, now we have the two images and I'm gonna maybe just quick do the color. I'm not doing anything super interesting right now, just, as, just to demonstrate a concept very quickly for your benefit. I'm gonna save this as well, something else very quick. Session two, again, it says the .kr, right? All right, so we have our two files now side by side. We're working on them, we're adding layers, we're doing things very actively, but it's the end of the day and I wanna come back to this tomorrow from where I was. So Krita has a feature called sessions where it saves what you have open and the layers and the files and what you have up in front of you. So I'm gonna to go to file and sessions and I'm going to say new and we're gonna call this demo session one and okay that's been created and i close and that's it now presuming that i've saved my kra files this is all good to go i can close safely out of krita i can go about getting a good night's sleep coming out the next day we refire up krita and we can jump right back into where i was which is really cool. So without even starting a drawing, I just go to sessions. I'm going to go to the demo session and switch to, and that's gonna automatically fire up whichever KRAs I had open, put them up as tabs, and I can continue on where I was. Awesome. So that's number one. Number two is working with snapshots. And this is more of an individual uh, file, uh, piece but it can save a lot of time while you're working with things now i have it down here in the bottom right hand corner the snapshot it is a docker if you don't have it on you can go to settings dockers and it is here under snapshot docker what it'll do for you is you can take almost like a moment in time that you can revert back to the important thing to remember with this tool though is that again it is file specific it is um specific to when you have the tool open. They are, all snapshots will die as you close it. So it's only useful for when you're working, for the time you're working. So I'm gonna put a snapshot up for this file here and maybe I'll make some changes and things. I'll take another snapshot and maybe we'll do a little bit more work. I will take away some of this because it's not useful and I don't like it. All right, take another snapshot from where I was. Okay, what we can do now is I can go back in time with these snapshots. And I do that by using the switch to selected snapshot down here. And that will roll me back in time. And I still have these other snapshots where if I've changed my mind, okay, well, you know what? I really wanna go back to what I had. I can move forward in time to that snapshot. It's a means of maintaining whatever change history you had preserved in that snapshot. 
So you can use this as a safeguard. You can use it as a way to kind of flip back and forth between things you had and, and look at it a couple different ways like test cases. But again, that only is maintained while the application is alive. So those are the two measures. Thank you for watching and checking that out. Start using those and start saving time. I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Consider subscribing if you haven't done that already so you don't miss out on the awesome tips and tutorials we're going to get to in the future. And leave a comment. Ask a question, not just for me, but for the whole community so we can share our experiences and make each other stronger together. Thank you so much. I will see you at the next video.